Okay, YouTube, this is the same day, just right after I took a, took apart my external hard drive. I'm going to show you how to put it back together. Because, you know, I think some people are going to be a little confused about how to do this because they didn't do it right. So, what you're going to need to do is take your part. you got to watch my taking it off video too to get how I do it. So then take this and make sure it's on right. The plugs side with all the plugs on it should be on the same side with all the plugs on here. So we're going to slide that right in here. Make sure your holes are lined up. And we can go ahead and plug this in. Make sure it's in there pretty good. The side too. Make sure the ribbon's in there good. Okay, so we're in there now. So now we need to put the screws in. So, flip it over to the side and line up. Make sure your holes are lined up. Take one of your screws, which will look like this, the one with a little weird thing on it. Put it on there. And screw it in. Sorry about that, my whole lock came out and lift that up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and then put the other side in. So now my screw is going in crooked, so that means it's not lined up. So just pull it out a little bit. And should be in there. So now I'll go to the other side, do the same thing. And then take the last one and put it in there again. Okay, and just tighten this up. All right. So now that this is put all together, take your frame and set it in there. Make sure it is in there right. You can tell if it's in there right by lining up the USB and power cable to the USB and power cable slots on your hard drive. So just kind of set it in there to have it lined up right. And actually what you're going to really need to remember is take this little green circuit board and slide it underneath, under and over case like that so now that we're in there right we're going to hook up the circuit board with the lights on it first so you know you're going to take the flat looking screw one like this it's flat put it in oh crap I dropped it hey found it okay put it in the top hole right here and then this screw is going to go into the actual frame on the hard drive. So stick that right there. Stick that right in there. And straighten it up a little bit and tighten this one down. <coughs> now don't tighten it all the way because you're still going to need to move it. Now take the other two screws, which are going to look like this, the one without the bearings on them and put them on this side, the bottom. These ones will go in there pretty fast. Right here. And 
go. Let's tighten this one down. Now we can tighten up that top one. Take the opposite one. One for the opposite side. And tighten that one down too. There we go. Now we need to put the other four outside screws on. So we'll do the two right here in the front. Right here. So we'll put this one right here. Sorry about it. my fingers are getting in the way or anything. The other one. Flip it around. Do the one on this side. in there and not. Hold on one second, I'm going to have to take it off camera real quick. Okay, so now that that's all lined up in there, as you can see, we'll tighten it down. Okay, sorry about this because it's kind of hard to do because i got to put it up to the camera. I'm trying to screw it down, and I'm just watching it from the camera. So, I got that. And put it sideways. And put this one in. I got that one in. Screw that one down. And, well, what do you know? We have it put back together, completely working fine. Um, the only thing that's left to do is put the case back on, but before you do that, what you're going to want to do is take your two cords, your power and your USB, and connect it to it and make sure it works. So we'll connect the USB and the power, and let's listen to here to see if it plugs into my computer. And plug in. And... I heard it kick on, the lights on, and wait for it. There you go. Connected to your computer, completely working and functional. So, thanks for watching my little tutorial thing. Um, my camera is upside down, and I'm not sure why. But I'll kind of, I'll get that fixed right now. Um, go to my website, elmoglund.tk. If you'd like to request a tutorial, go to my website, either one, my old one, my new one, completely remodeled. Um, and go to, go to it, go to the contact me form on either one, and um, request it, and uh, message me. So, thanks for watching, and subscribe. Goodbye. We the rock.